we're going to import a Figma prototype into the Maze tool. So over here, you see that we've made a prototype with these designs and that we have connected the prototype. If we go over to the presenting view, then we can see that we can click on these designs and that we can follow this flow. So we're looking at an app called NowJobs. It's an app from Belgium and here you can easily find temporary jobs. So for this prototype, we want to navigate to the 8th of May. We want to click on the job waiter and then we want to apply for this job. We get this notification and when the notification disappears, then you have successfully completed this flow. So, all right, we've set up this design in Figma. We're not going to talk about how to make a prototype in Figma, but we're going to see how we can implement this in the Maze tool. So what is Maze? Well, Maze is a cool tool that you can use to do remote user testing. It has integrations with Figma, Adobe XD, Envision, Sketch, and Marvel app. So as you can see, it is a really cool landing page and you can check it out at maze.design to get more information on this tool. During these times, it's really handy to do remote user testing because yeah, you can't invite people to your office anymore. And with Maze, you don't have to do that. So how does it work? Well, I'm going to show you. If you go to Figma, you have to go to the presenting view and you have to click share prototype. Here you have to make sure that anyone with a link can view this prototype. Over here, you copy the link. Then we go over to Maze and we click in our dashboard on new project. Over here, you can choose between discovery and user testing, but we want to do user testing. So let's import this prototype and let's create our first Maze project. All right, so our Maze project has been created. So it automatically sets up a mission. So in Maze, you can add different kinds of blocks, different kinds of actions. If you click here, you can see them. You can create a mission, which is a usability task for your testers. You can ask yes or no questions. You can add an opinion scale, multiple choice, open question, context screen, and a lot of other options. We're just going to keep it really basic because I just want to show you what Maze is and what you can do with it. So over here, you can give a title to the task. So what do we want to do? Apply for the job waiter on 8th of May. And in the description, you can give, yeah, you can give more information to your user testers. So you want to apply for the job as waiter at Distro Benstraat on the 8th of May. Please do this. All right, and over here, expected paths. You can click on the prototype and you can set the expected path that the tester needs to take to complete this mission. So if you go over here, you see our imported Figma prototype. We click on the 8th of May. We click on waiter. And then over here, we click on apply for this job. So if you want to delete some screens, you can just click over here and then, yeah, you have to do it again. All right. And maybe you want to add different paths and then you can click over here and then you can add different paths. So sometimes you can complete a flow in different paths in different ways. And then you want to set this over here. You can also add some conditional formatting over here. And this is really cool because you can set things like if the user completed path one, then jump to this block. If the user completed path two, then you can jump to another block. So we can add an opinion scale over here and we can say, how easy was this flow? And then we can set an opinion scale from zero to 10, maybe just set it from zero to five. We can set it to numerical, to stars or emotions. Well, let's take stars for this one. We can add a yes, no question. Did you like this flow? You can set the question to required or not required. You can add images over here. Here we can also work with emotions or just icons. And here we can also add this cool conditions functionality. Maybe also add an open question. Do you want to add 
anything and we're not gonna make this required this is just optional so here we've just set up a really simple and basic flow so if you click on the preview button over here we go over to a preview of the maze so here you will only see a preview of the maze but this is how it's gonna be for the user testers so here they say some stuff like this is not a finished product this is just some interactive images you don't have to swipe you don't have to type you only have to click let's start so here on the left we get our assignment and if we say let's start then we can finish the maze so i know what to do we go to the 8th of may we click on waiter and then we say apply for this job and all right good job we have successfully completed this flow if we go to the next question here they ask us how easy was the flow we're going to give it five stars did you like this flow yes do you want to add anything nope i can yeah <laughs> or i can just leave it blank like this and then we have succeeded this maze test so this is really cool so you can set a lot of stuff over here and if we click on start testing then we're going to set this maze live like this all right and over here we can copy our link and we can start sharing this link with our user testers you can send this over to friends families to the users of your app of your product and then you can start seeing these test results coming in they even have a cool connection integration with slack i want to show you a user test that i did with one of my clients and there we got like 60 people filling in the test and there you can see some really cool results so if you have a live test and you are at the page of the test you can go to go to report on top and then we're going to the report all this data is just anonymous so you can't see who filled in what and here on top you can see your usability score so it's 65 they say over here how they computed the score how many responses you had how many blocks and then you can go over here and you can go through all the results of your test so here you see a lot of information, amount of testers, misclick rate, average duration of the mission, average success, the bounce rate is really cool. You can even click on these screens and then you can see heat maps over here. You see a lot of analysis of this screen. Maze is a really, really cool tool and they do a lot of cool stuff. I uh, just encourage you to do a first test with one of your projects, with one of your clients, and then you can see everything over here. It's just too much to cover all. If you go to summary, then here they say screens to rework, screens to check. But in this case, it were all great screens. Over here, we did an opinion scale. Here you can see how many people answered what. So you can make an analysis out of that. Yes or no questions. You can see it over here. If you have a screen that is not that good, then at the summary, you can see that you have one screen to rework. And here they say why? Because it has a high misclick rate. Uh, a lot of testers got lost. And well, the average time spent is quite okay. So yeah, you can do a lot of cool stuff with this maze tool and it's really easy to just import your prototype into Figma. I would really encourage you to try it out. Maze is a free plan to set up one test so you can easily check it and test it out for one project. It's a really good tool to do remote user testing, definitely during this time. They have an amazing report functionality. So I just wanna advise you to definitely try this out for one of your next projects.